Drake has accused BTS of cheating the American charts. BTS are no strangers to constantly having particular accusations made against them by haters. During the later course of BTS's career, they have constantly been accused of encouraging fans to mass purchase their albums. They've been accused of doing this for their singles too. This is in order to artificially inflate their songs and albums chart performance. One of the most controversial moments for BTS was when their song Butter came out. This was where the boys released multiple remixes and different arrangements of the song, and they even did a featured remix with Megan Thee Stallion. Another thing which happened which added to the drama was that many fans started fundraisers to mass purchase Butter. This includes one fan even raising almost $3,600 to purchase multiple copies of Butter. This was in order to help it get to number one. The main accusation that happened against BTS back then was that some people felt like Butter wasn't the most consumed song that week, and people thought it wasn't number one due to a genuine amount of people listening to the song and buying it. During Butter's reign, Olivia Rodrigo's song Good For You was blocked from going to number one for multiple weeks. This controversy is seemingly being referenced again. This is because Drake has publicly thrown shade on social media, which many believe is about BTS. An American rap manager posted a tweet saying this finessing for a number one song has got to stop man. Like come on. This was reposted on Instagram and Drake liked the post, and he commented saying 2021 was crazy for this. After the story blew up, he deleted the comment. This, to many people, seemed like obvious shade on BTS. This is because 2021 was the year of the release of BTS's song Butter, the song which caused a lot of controversy for the fans campaigning to get it to number one. Back in 2021, big hit music president Shin Young Jae was asked if the label or its parent company Hype had promoted mass purchasing to fans. Promptly denied this. He made a statement saying, wouldn't it be nice if we actually all had the ability to mastermind such a thing? I get that there are market developments related to BTS, and these are head scratchers for some people, but I don't believe the US market is one that can handily be taught by downloads alone. We think the song's impact was shown in many ways, and we are proud of that achievement. RM actually chimed into this situation Situation. He did this in an interview with Billboard magazine. RM said it's a fair question, but if there is a conversation inside Billboard about what being number one should represent, then it's up for them to change the rules, and it's up to them to make streaming way more in the ranking. Slamming us or our fans for getting to number one with physical sales and downloads? I don't know if that's right. It just feels like we're easy targets because we're a boy band, a K-pop act, and because we have this high fan loyalty. For this video's comment question, do you think it's wrong if the BTS army mass purchase? Or does it mean that BTS have fans that care about them more than others? Before before you go, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for daily news updates on BTS. Thanks a lot for watching.